I heard her before I saw her. She stood in the doorway for a minute, waiting for me to pay attention to her. Ignoring her, I turned off my laptop and put it away. The desktop, the printer, all the things I needed on my list were already gone. All that was left was anger. Is it over between us? She said so quietly I almost didn't hear her. Oh yes, I said, still not turning around. She waited a few more seconds before starting again. Please do me the courtesy of at least looking at me while we talk. Still not turning around, I answered her, Oh, you want to talk now? Why, I tried to talk to you before you left for your girls weekend at the spa last Thursday. It didn't go so well. Your exact words were, I don't have time to listen to you whine. There are only a few days left. Get over it, it will be good for both of us. You hurt my feelings badly. I didn't realize I was bursting into tears. I was trying to make a reasonable argument and maybe just maybe my emotions left me for a second or two. I sighed, but you're right, I guess. Your absence was like a fog clearing and I was able to see again. Sure I saw a lot of things I didn't like, but at least I had clear eyes when I saw them. Thanks for that, why are you so upset? Okay, maybe I was wrong to go when I knew you felt so strongly about this trip. I knew you didn't really like Ashley or Gloria, but they've always been nice to you and I've known them since college. Nothing happened unless you count massive alcohol consumption and some pretty lusty girl talk. In fact, I still get horny just thinking about it. Would you like to follow me into the bedroom and help me put out this fire? Weird that you went to a spa in the Catskills when you said you'd be in Nashville. Gloria was at a wedding in San Diego. Ashley was in Miami with her sister and her family. It's amazing how they can break the rules of time and space and be in different places at the same time. It's really convenient that they were both out of town when you wanted to get away for the weekend too. Too bad that when I pressed them, they didn't lie for you. Ashley had no idea what was going on. Gloria hung up on me when I told her everything I knew, so I guess she knew and Ashley didn't. Tell me, did you hook up with someone first and she got sucked in? Or was it her telling you how cool it can be to have an affair? hoping for great sex, the chance to have a spicy little secret, laughing at your poor stupid husband trudging along thinking life is great. And Ashley well, when her husband cheated on her it gave her a low opinion of anyone who could be so disrespectful to their marriage. Good news I had a pretty long talk with her and she seems to be recovering. She told me she actually went on her first date last week. One more thing if they really could be in two places at once, it goes without saying that they would also have the ability to take other forms. It must have taken the combined strength of both of them to turn into a 190 centimeter tall bald guy with a goatee. And if I turn around, I'm pretty sure you won't be there. Just a gaping hole where my wife used to be. So yes indeed, we're done. It's all spelled out in black and white in the papers you signed, so there shouldn't be much fuss. You'll succeed and you'll have enough money to stay stylish for the rest of your life if you manage it right. So forget it, Jen. Let's walk out of here with some dignity. You go sleep with anyone you see, and I'll heal and start looking for another soulmate. It'll probably take a long time. Eventually I'll have some serious trust issues but hopefully I'll get over it eventually. As I spoke, sighs were heard, then sobs as I systematically dismantled our life together. Finally I turned around. She was a mess perfect makeup was ruined by tears, her posture had slumped. If I had to guess, I'd say it was the last thing she expected. That's too bad. She never seemed to know me at all. A lesson too late to learn, I'd say. I took everything I needed for a while. I'll be back in two weeks and I need you and anything that reminds me of you out of here. And don't get any ideas this was my home to begin with and I intend to keep it that way. Two weeks, Yan. She howled and fell to her knees, grabbing me as I started to walk away. Please, Jackie, please stay. Let's talk about this. I not so gently removed her hands. Like I said, the time to talk was before this weekend. Surely somewhere deep in your little brain you must have known if I ever found out it was over between us. Was the sex worth it? She was on her knees sobbing as I closed the door to our lives. I figuratively squared my shoulders, ready to venture out into the open, and walked away.